What do all these have in common? Well, besides being lids for one of your RC bashers, they're expensive as hell and they don't last. Want to know how to put a little armor on these suckers to prolong the life? Stay tuned, I'm about to show you right now. Hey guys, welcome back to RC Brucey. Thanks for tuning in and watching us once again. Greatly appreciate it. And before we get started, I just want to say, remember to hit that like button. Please subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. And below, anyone's got any comments on what this tip I'm about to show you, I want to hear them. Let's comment on YouTube and uh, I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Anyway, let's get started. Like I said before, what do these all have in common? They're super expensive for our bashers. And I don't know about you. You might get a few weeks out of these things if you're lucky and you turn around. Next thing you know, your body's split and it's running and the body's told. Here comes another anywhere between $50 to $150, depending on what type of new shell you're buying for what body. Painted, unpainted, you can go on for days. I'm getting tired of spending all that money on just shells so my rig doesn't look like a total rolling piece of crap. So I started checking it out on YouTube, so I can't take total credit for all of this. I was looking around on some of the channels and of course one of the guys I love to watch big old thumbs up Kevin Talbot I'm giving him total credit for it he's been wrapping his bodies on the inside kind of saying uh, kind of like putting a little extra armor in there and what's he using some drywall tape pair of scissors and some shoe goo and what you do as you see here I got this brand new body. It was all nice and clean. My other one's totally annihilated. And I said, oh, it's about time. So like I said, I didn't want to waste any uh, more money on another shell. And I want this one to last a little bit longer than the few weeks before it started tearing and uh, going to crap on me. So on the inside there, I lined the whole inside with the drywall tape. This stuff... It's sticky on one side and not. I kind of got the wide stuff, figured go farther. I cut the pieces to what I want or use bigger pieces to cover the area a little faster. Then once you're done there, I didn't have a problem with it peeling up, but a couple areas I didn't. What I did is took a little hot glue like Kevin suggested and you just tack it down a little bit and finish it off with the shoe goo. You can use the shoe goo there and spread it out. And of course, I'm not going to be able to find it. Put the shoe glue on the inside, plastic spatula, rubber spatula, spread the glue. Once it's all spread evenly, set it up, let it dry, apply another coat if you want, or another layer of glue. And this thing is stiffen up like you wouldn't believe. I'm not saying that the body is indestructible, it's just going to prolong the life of this body. So please don't get confused on what I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm building a totally indestructible body here. I'm just trying to give you a tip to help you on prolonging your uh, body life. The other thing that I found once I saw this video a few weeks back from Kevin, I tried it out and tested it. I've been running my Revo here. Old body, as you can see, it's all beat to hell. Breaking in the classical spots for the Revo up front in the nose. Everything's all back together. And what I did is I just cleaned up the body, lined it with the drywall tape, did the glue up and in there, let it dry, put everything back. It's all back and solid again, guys. Same thing here on my X-Max. I just noticed I got a, oh, another section here I need to do down this corner. But the whole rear end, blown out, did the same thing, lined it with the tape, spread the glue, let it dry. Put everything back together, let it dry, and it's all it's like brand new. This whole section was off, guys. I kind of wish I did it earlier. It's kind of late, but like I said, if you have an old body, it's working and it's sticking, but you got to really clean the area that you're in before you cover the whole body so you get that good uh, um, adhesive surface for the glue to stick to. And it, so far, I've been trying it out and using it. It's been great. It's been working well. And I really hope this helps you guys out to prolong the life of your body there. Like I said before, hit that like button. 
Please subscribe, which greatly appreciated. Comment below and let me know what you think about this tip and trick. And like I said, I'm not taking full credit for it. Kevin Talbot, you can go see him over on YouTube. And if you haven't already, very awesome channel. Awesome dude. I watch him every night before I go to bed. Anyway, thanks again for watching. And I hope this helps you guys out there. See you around, guys. Thanks for watching RC Brucey.